I've been uh, distributing uh, really goods for the past uh, two weeks, mm. including uh, including those mm. you know, which uh, came from the uh, uh, farm of uh, my mom in Canada. And uh, I made it a point every time mm. I go to the franchise mm. and uh, to distribute mm. them, uh, the goods. Uh, I make it a point na for the people to observe uh, social distancing. And then, we, as I've said earlier, that we've been doing this for the past uh, two weeks. All of a sudden, when I was distributing a bakos kanina sa barangay sa Lapan, all of a sudden, the police came and uh, invited me over here for uh, some interrogation. And uh, I, was, I was asking them what, what was my violation. They told me that I violated the certain provisions of the enhanced uh, community uh, quarantine. So, sabi ko, anong klaseng violation? So, sabi niya, they have no copies that uh, the people were not observing uh, uh, social distancing. Mm -hmm. So, ako naman, uh, I, I was pretty sure, I was pretty confident that uh, yung mga tao ko, inutusin nila yung mga tao na uh, to observe uh, Social distancing. The video that was shown to me uh, by, uh, by the policemen were not the videos uh, that were taken. Those were old videos. And if you notice that video, wala po ako doon. Wala po ako doon sa, sa video nila. So, as I said earlier, the police invited me over uh, to explain my side. Of course, I asked what was my violation. So, at any rate, unfortunately, this is all about politics. I think Mayor Samoa earlier uh, held an interview, or gave an interview in various uh, networks, and uh, allegedly, he told the media, told, uh, uh, he, told, yeah, he told the media that I was distributing bangos together with money. Mm -hmm. I deny it. Nag-distribute lang ako ng gawag. Wala po akong perang binibigay. Sinasabi niya, meron daw akong perang pinagbibigay. Assuming, assuming, totoo ang sinasabi niya. I think there's nothing wrong. People are hungry. People have no work. He should understand that. Ang hinihingi niya sa akin, permit na naman. There are a lot of civic organizations non-government non organizations, private citizens, civilians like me, for distributing, for donating relief goods here in the city of San Juan, without any permit. Why are they singling me out? Just because I am an Estrada? Bawal na ba kami tumulong dito sa San Juan? Matagal po ako naglipo dito sa San Juan, labing tatlong taon po. Siguro naman, wala akong masama na tumulong ako sa sa gilid ng bahay. Sorry, sir, ano, ang napag-usapan sa sa loob? Ano naging? Are there new charges? Oh, wala, wala, wala. Uh, wala naman charges. They just gave me a warning na kumpulong naman ng local government pag tumulong ko sa taong bayan. At bago sa ang binibigay ko para may ma- Sir, during dun sa barangay, hindi ba kayo tinilungan ng mga barangay doon para ayusin? You know, the first time, excuse me, I don't know. The first time kasi, when I conceptualized the problem store, hmm. I was about to apply for it hmm. two days before. What would happen? Nalaman ng City Hall, nalaman ni Mayor Francis na magkakaroon ako ng rolling store, tinuwagan niya lang ang mga barangay captain not to support the rolling store of these stratas. So, what do you expect me to do? Of course, I will not apply for a permit. Nung palang, sinasabi niya na huwag tutulungan. Huwag tutulungan yung mga rolling store namin. Eh. So, do you expect me to get a fair shake? I don't think so. Sir, paano niyo po nalaman na tinawagan lahat? Sinabi, mm -hmm. Paano niyo, sir, nalaman na tinawagan lahat at sinabi na huwag support sa rolling store? Siyempre, yung kapitan, tumawag sa akin at nagsumbong sa akin. 
hindi raw siya makakapagpadala ng mga barangay officials, hindi siya raw makakapagpadala ng mga barangay tanong. So, sir, paano po natin, linawin lang natin, sir, sir paano, paano natin matatawag din, sir? Nerest ba kayo, sir, o inimbitahan, sir, para malinaw, sir? They invited me. They invited. In, in, in fairness to the police, they invited me. Kaya nang sir, nag-distract yung distribution ng bangos. Tapos if parang hindi... If, mm. if you had seen the reaction of the people mm. when, the, when I rode in the uh, police car, of course, they were they were filming mad. Nagagalit sila pa. Tumutulong nga lang naman ako sa, sa mga tao. Eh. Alam mo, nangimitaan pa ako, eh. na-arrest pa ako. So, I, I, you know, I did not... In my own opinion, ha, I never violated anyone. Especially to this If you have noticed earlier, when I was distributing the goods, kompleto ako, naka-BP ako, naka-face mask ako, naka-face shield ako, naka-advantes ako, kompleto. At inutusan ko rin yung mga tao ko, kasabihan yung mga pumipila ron, na to observe social distancing. So nagulat na lang ako, biglang, ano, may nagutos sa ating mga pagulis ha. Well, I do not blame the police because they're just doing their job. I do not have anything against them. So this is local politics. The, the current administration of San Juan does not want us to help. Imagine yung pinapadala namin sa frontliners. Nagpapadala dito sa police, nagpapadala sa San Juan Medical Center. Nung nalaman nung mayor, tinawagan, huwag, huwag daw tatanggap sa mga galing sa mga estrada ng mga pagkain. Can he feed everybody here? Pwede ba niyang pakainin lahat ng mga mamaya na saan? Buwan ang malabo yun. Sir, nandito kanina si President Erop, sir. Ano po yung napag-usapan niya kanina? Of course. Bilang isang ama, siya po siya. Pumunta lang siya sa akin. At uh, tinatanong, tinatanong niya kung uh, gusto sa mga kaya. Kaya sabi ko, you can go home. So, yun lang. Uh, nakakalungkot lang na tayo'y uh, pinagbabawalan na tumulong dito sa sarili natin bayan at uh, pinakailangan pa ito uh, mag-ibiso sa, sa kanya. Pero tuloy pa rin ba may natin, sir? Well, uh, sinabihan niya ako ng ating mga kabigang polis na pwede raw uh, uh, makipag-coordinate sa local government. Alam niyo, as I've mentioned earlier, I will not get a fair shake. Kasi sinabihan na, sinabihan na yung mga barangay captain na susuportahan. So, paano po? This is just uh, uh, local politics. Sir, on that premise na, hining, na hiningi sa inyo ng uh, sinabihan kayo ng police to coordinate with local government and also what you said that you would not get a fair share, anong plano ninyo going forward? Well, I will still uh, find ways and means to help my people, to, to help my constituents here in San Juan. As I mentioned earlier, no one can prevent me from helping my people. Kung sabi ko nga, inahamon ko nga si Mayor Samora, kung kaya niya pakiinit tatlong beses sa isang araw ang, ang mga mamaya dito sa Ron, hindi na po ako tutulog. Kaya pala niya eh. Pero sa tingin ko, hindi po kaya. Remember, I remember. Remember. Number one kami sa San Juan. Ha? We have, San Juan is the smallest city in Metro Manila, but we have the highest COVID positive patients here in San Juan. It does not have any complete program how to prevent the spread of the virus here. We are always number one. And we are the last, uh, we are the last sa pagbigay ng uh, uh, pondo na nanggaling sa social administration program. 10% pa lang ang nabibigay sa buong San Juan. Imagine, napakalit ng San Juan. Bakit napakabagal? Dapat identified na kung sino yung mga beneficiaries. Bakit ang Kenyo City? Bakit ang Makati? Bakit Pasig mas malalaki sa, sa San Juan yun? Bakit ang bilis nila? Bakit dito San Juan? Ang bagal. You know, isa lang at uh, unsolicited advice kay Mayor Sumon. You have to concentrate on how to prevent the, the virus that is spreading rapidly in our city. Do not concentrate on me. Huwag mo ako tututukan. Tumutulong lang po ako sa tao. Nabibigay lang po ako ng bigas, bahos, bilata, dahil gusto mo mga tao. Huwag ako tutukan mo. Hindi ko ako kalaban mo. 
ang kalaban po natin hindi natin nakikita. Iisa lang ang kalaban natin. Nabe. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.